Okay, I'm doing a wig review on my favorite cut by John Renault, and this is Drew. Now I have Drew in three shades. I have it in the 6F27, the Shaded Peach, and the Midnight Cocoa. Now out of all three of these colors, I really like this one. It's the closest to my natural hair. This is like this one, but with, with chunky highlights. So that's okay. It's not my favorite because I'm not big on chunky highlights, but I also love Shaded Peach. I love, I love that color. So we're going to review True. Now the one that's pretty much out of the box, I have never worn my Shaded Peach yet anywhere. So this is in out of box condition. It's the zigzag part has been brushed out of it. But this is it. Now this is a heat defiant style by John Renault. And with the heat defiant uh, styles, you can use heating tools with them. This wig is a monofilament open wefted with an extended nape area. So straight out of the box, no restyling or anything. This is what Drew looks like. Now cap wise, Drew seems to fit a little bit more snug than some of my other wig caps. It's all in my face. Okay. So with that, this is, it's really, really cute. I'm going to repart her. Oh, look at that. You can like majorly see my wig cap. It moved back. So I know this one's called Drew. This reminds me of like a haircut that like Jennifer Aniston would have. But I love I love the way that this, this wig moves. I mean, look at it. And this is the shaded peach color. So you've got those dark roots and then it goes to this lovely blend of auburn colors. And the, oh, where's the shaded peach numbers? There they are. So it's 30A27S4. Oh, you can't read that. But it does. It looks really, really nice. This is my favorite um, cut wig by John Renault. I don't. I don't have to do anything to this wig. I know it's heat style. You know, able, but I don't. I do not heat style this. I just absolutely love the way that this wig looks. I can sit there and stare at it all day. So here is my left side. The back. And it's so light. It's just nice. Here's the left. Or no, not left. My right side, sorry. And with it having that monofilament top section here, you truly can just part it. And this is one of my favorite things is I love putting it up halfway and wearing it like that, letting it fall back down. But yes, this is, this is, this is lovely. I do. And then you've got that little bit of a length layer there in the back. So you still have that bob or long bob type vibe here in the front and how it just kind of frames you but it's it's got a little bit of length to it and it's super super nice so this is the shaded peach and 
Let me open up my other boxes here for my other shades that I haven't drew. Yeah. And we'll kind of like compare them. So we've got our shaded peach, which I think the Midnight Cocoa has a lot of the same colors as the shaded peach. And Midnight Cocoa is not straight out of the box. I have washed her and she smells amazing right now. Um, there is, what's in here, there is a little bit of the Beauty Marks Texture Cream, the Peace Texture Cream stuff. So here's that. So you've got your lovely shaded peach. You've got that Midnight Cocoa here. It's so weird when I see myself with such a, such a bright color. And then I hold up <laughs> more close to my natural hair color. Um, and then it's always so strange looking. So you've got that one. Now the 6F27 is not as dark, but it does have, you know, that 6 brown, which is a very um, medium brown, but it's on like the lighter side of it. So you've got this. And that is the 6F27. And then you've got it next to the Midnight Cocoa. Ooh, I think it could almost be the same hair. <laughs> They've got a lot of the same colors. You tell I stay to a color scheme here. So yes, I love this color though. Look at it. I don't know. Can you see these lovely like transition pieces? And with it being rooted in a four... I don't have the highlights that show up up here. But no, you just you've got such you've got a light strand here. You've got all these lovely colors of auburn. Now the swatch that John Renault has for the shaded peach is not a very good swatch. I say that because the little swatch picture that they have, that they use for the ranges of colors is so much darker. When I ordered this, I expected to have a rooted, deep auburn color, like a really dark, dark color. And it's this, it's this lovely, just like a creamy, creamy brown color. I just, I love it. I love the way that this wig feels and moves. See, it's got such movement, except for when you get a little tangle. But so that one is the shaded peach. So I will take this shaded peach off and I'll give you guys a comparison. So there's the 6F27 and the shaded peach with the midnight cocoa. So I will put my shaded peach down, which the shaded peach color was 30A27S4. It's just one of my favorite colors that John Renault has. All right, the next one I'm going to show you is the uh, Midnight Cocoa, which is FS4 3330A. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. So this is Midnight Cocoa. It's a little bit darker. So the shading on that shaded peach was a 4, and this is a 4 with your highlights in the 30 and 33. So it is, it's a little bit darker. A lot of the same colors though. So th this is also, all three of these are also average size. All of my wigs are average size. I have not um, ventured really to see any other sizes. I'm quite comfortable with these ones. 
I mean, I could just walk right out of the house like this. I love this one. This haircut is just amazing. If only my real hair would do these types of things. So then you've got this. It blends more with my natural hair. Um, but you do have those brighter, um, where, the, where the highlights come into the roots. It's, it's not necessarily my favorite thing, but how many people are going to sit there and look at my scalp? Not very many, so. So that is the Midnight Cocoa. So it's mostly the dark brown with just some highlights in there. And then, oops, almost took my whole cap off. To the 6F27 next. Put that back on. All right. This was my first Drew. Um, I did expect it to be a little bit uh, darker. It is. It's got it's got a lot of darkness here in the back, and then more of the highlights are there in the front. I was just I don't know. I was expecting it to be more blended. Yeah. So this one is my oldest wig. Or my most worn or it has seen the light of day a lot so this one I did heat style and I straightened this lower portion here so it doesn't frame as much so it does give it a little bit of a different look see so you've got that contrast between my natural hair and this there is a lot of this the lighter shade right here in the front uh, that kind of reminds me of the Raquel Welsh wigs and how when she styles them, that's what she does. But here is this same style straightened. So you just, you don't have as many wisps and waves throughout. It's just, it's a lot straighter. So it does lay a little bit different, but it's not too, too bad. And the wig cap on this one, on all of the Drews, is a tad bit like higher. It's like right here. So I mean, it's like maybe like a centimeter higher <laughs> than um, the Marion wig. The John Renault Marion wig is just a, the ear tabs or temple tabs come down a little bit further, and I do very much so like wigs that come down a little bit more. That gives me more versatility to, you know, leave a little bit down to style it up, which I can, I'll do a styling video if you guys want. Let's see, just okay. I think that's it for my review on Drew. I think it's a very natural cut. It has a lot of movement. It's really flattering on me. I have an um, like an oval shaped face. It is. It's it's a wonderful cut. Oh, thank you. This one it's got. If you kind of like rustle around the roots a little bit, you can give it a little bit of volume. Look at that. Look at that. Even with the monofilament, you get like Permatease volume. I love it. So, that's my review. I recommend it this way. Totally, completely. Obviously, I would buy it again. <laughs> if I had the budget, I would probably own Drew in every shade that John Renault has. <laughs> and that's just my favorite. When. You know, they say that there is, there's people out there that look for, like, the one. I don't know if there is that one wig. But I will say, Drew might just fulfill that box for me. I don't know. But, yeah, this is Drew by John Renault.